Hello, bloodsuckers. And let's go ahead and get into episode two of Digimon Adventures, aka Why Digimon Why. And we're gonna start with, oh my god, the most laziest and saddest attempts of a translation for Digimon, from what I can remember, is Gamumon calling the fish that he summons, fish bread. No, it's not fish bread. It's a thousand fishes. That's just a terrible attempt at the writers for the English translation thinking it sounds better. No, it sounds worse. A thousand fishes makes some sense. It even looks like there could be at least a thousand fish. Maybe, well, maybe not a thousand, but enough to where you could say a thousand fishes and then we get to Joe talking about their being that he hopes they can find some telephone which they do later on which I'll get to in a minute or so he says Oh, I wish there were some phones around. We could call the police, the fire department, or my mom. Joe is such a damn mama's boy. Yet he tries to act mature. That's not so much of a why did you my why. That's just something I can't stand about him. And he don't really mature until like the later season, I believe. But still, he's just so fucking stupid and tries to act mature, and that's why no one of the other kids re don't respect him. Now, on to the telephone situation. They say the phones don't work, but they clearly do. I mean, they don't, but they clearly do because they are getting operators. The operators make corny jokes. And then tell them to hang up, but they still work in a way. And to be honest, I like corn jokes, so those jokes did give me a little giggle. Now, on to Izzy's stomach. Izzy's stomach apparently is made of slime. He talks about wanting to take apart his digi device to look through it. And then he says, first I'm hungry, and it, instead of a growl noise, they use slime. And now let's get on to... Oh, I also... I just skipped a part. I apologize. So I'm going to cover this part I skipped right now. When Joe says we need to call our parents, got move on. Says what are parents? Now I get that Digimon don't actually know their parents, but they are aware that they come from Digi eggs, and an adult Digimon has to lay those Digi eggs, although. The anime's a little bit weird, especially in the later seasons. They say the Et Digi eggs just respawn when the Digimon die. When the Digimon dies, yes, because that's how they do it in the games too. If your Digimon die, well, the original games at least, if your Digimon dies from starvation or. Well, actually, no, they did it in Redigitize too, which I played here on my channel or die of old age, they just revert to a digi egg. But, when they hatched the first time, those eggs were actually laid from the parent Digimon. So, 
got my mind and all them acting like they don't know what parents are is stupid as hell. Now, when they reconvert to a digital egg, I could get that. But these guys, parent obviously didn't reconvert from a digi egg. They had a hatch already, and they are very aware of their surroundings. So it's stupid for them to ask what are parents when they know they like, came from parents. Anyways, now on to this. Tai and Agumon start fighting Chomon because the other Digimon are hungry and don't have strength to fight, which is understandable. Chomon grabs a hold of Tai, sprays everyone with water, and words come out of Tai's mouth. No! He's gonna get everyone! He already got everyone! Are you that stupid, Tai? Like, come on now, you're not that stupid. We know that. He got everyone. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. And please support me by clicking on the link to my sponsors, which is Rise Energy, W Energy, Swift Grips, and GameSir. And with Swift Grips, Game. And, and W Energy, you get 10% off. And with Rise Energy, you get 15% off the promo code Trigon Games, all caps. And with GameStar, you can get 5% off of products with the affiliate link, which will be in the description, along with the GameStar, I mean Swift Grips, W Energy, and Rise Energy links. I love you all. Have a wonderful day, my lovely bloodsuckers. Wow.